Hello, hello and welcome, welcome. Silri is here with Star Citizen. And this is a food for thought video thing where I talk about stuff, background footage is there for your distraction because I want to talk about futuristic spaceship combat. Why would I say futuristic spaceship combat? Anyway, I mean, we don't really have spaceship combat in our real world yet. And whatever. We don't know. What happens in the future? Will we have spaceship combat in the future of our own world? We do not know, maybe. Anyway, I want to talk about it anyways. Because uh, while I love game mechanics, I sometimes really wonder what could be done differently to make it seem more of what our reality will likely look like instead of just, you know, taking... um taking uh, the game mechanics of the previous things and applying it to a new form. What I'm talking about here is, like, is um, think of Star Citizen for a, with, as a flight sim for a moment, and you're kind of getting on the right tracks. Then look at our own real world as it is right now, and project this world in there. With the technological advances we are doing right now, getting how many times bigger by then? Uh, if computers suddenly start getting worse, we are not really going to see space age. So they are getting stronger, better, and faster. So computers already in our current world uh, do things faster than humans can. As simple as that. They, they make calculations which no human can make in their head, and so on. However, when you project this kind of a, a reality we have into the uh, future of our kind, where we would actually have a space age, would we ever have manned fighting ships? It's a question I occasionally ask of myself, like, okay, this is a very, very awesome game mechanic, obviously. You put the players into the fighting fighting ships, you go do dogfights, you go do massive wars where everybody's crewing a ship and whatnot. This is very naval-like. Or very much about our own jet fighters and whatnot. But I don't see... I really don't see the future in that. Only thing which shows the future is that, okay, it's located in space, and we are using things like lasers. But other than that, it is our real world, for the most part. Because I kind of firmly believe, once we get to the space age stuff, we are really not gonna see too much manned stuff flying around. Basically, everything is going to be remote controlled. Simply because the AI if we have AI then, but uh, simply because computers, even if we don't have AI, uh, do things so much faster. You, you, a human has to process the information through sensory input of some kind, and then give those commands, whatever they are, uh, whether it's manually pressing a button, or whether it's like I mean, any, any other small things are just pressing a pedal with your feet when you are trying to break your car because somebody is trying to crash into it. You have to first identify that it's going to happen and then you have to react to it. Computer does those reactions so much faster based on even information types humans cannot process. No human can, you know, take a radio frequency with their head and then realize that, okay, uh, well, there is something wrong with this frequency, or there is actually some activity here. No human can process radio frequencies. Computers can, however. They just need to... The radio frequency needs to be translated to it uh, through some other methods, but that's faster than what humans can usually process through their information. Anyway, getting very sidetracked here, but it's, it relates to the point. Would we ever have manned fighting vehicles? Would we, wouldn't most things be completely unmanned, possibly remote controlled by a human to give an, like, you know, specific instructions of where to go and so forth, whereas the computer would take uh, over and would control all of the other aspects of this stuff. For example, ship combat. The same way, like, if you look at countermeasures against missiles. Missiles uh, do lock on, 
in the future, wouldn't we have hacking software where on our, you know, ships? Unless this, we are talking about really, really cheap ships or whatever. Or ships not designed for combat at all. But we are. T I was talking about fighting ships here after all. So, wouldn't we have hacking software and everything, any kind of a missile, any kind of anything which tracks a target? It tracks a target based on certain something, like we have heat-seeking missiles right now. We have other things, and there are countermeasures to those. In space, yeah, well, heat-seeking might not work quite so well, or it might. Depends on how how this stuff is being, uh, well, done. But anything which seeks a target can be essentially uh, distracted or uh, disengaged somehow. Same thing, wouldn't we have aggressive hacking softwares to try and top and stop and top uh, try and stop enemy targeting entirely? Aggressively hack the enemies, you know well software themselves. Granted there would be counter software for to counter the hacking and so on, but uh, then you would run into all of these weird scenarios of like humans not being able to keep up like at all obviously um if you have watched Battlestar Galactica this kind of well model has shown in there as well uh, it's kind of interesting model but I believe I rather firmly believe because if you look at our current history of science our um technological advancement in the last like 20 years um, things are getting more and more unmanned. More and more get, the stuff gets remote controlled, gets um, used in different ways where, firstly, people are not in danger because they are remotely controlling stuff. Just the stuff itself is in danger. And that is kind of a good thing, in all honesty. It's kind of a good thing. But things are getting very, very precise and... We are getting closer and closer to the point in our own world already where combat hacking is starting to become a th thing. So I have to always ask, while this is obviously awesome for gameplay, that we have everything manned and all that good jazz, wouldn't it be more... I can't really say realistic because this is future we are talking about, but wouldn't it be more awesome, uh, like more closer to what we can project our own reality to be to have everything kind of unmanned but then it's difficult to make gameplay aspects of it obviously i mean we are talking about entertainment value here we are talking about making a video game which is well interesting entertaining and fun right and just because you are uh, walking around a space station and pressing a couple buttons here and there and uh, setting a destination for one of the, you know, computer control ships would more make this uh, like a probably a real-time strategy game or a turn-based strategy game than a, uh, well, flight sim and all these other things, you know, put together. So I, while I really, really love Star Citizen, I, I love the game, I love this stuff, but sometimes I just have to stop and think. Is this actually what would our reality be in the future? Or is this just for entertainment? And it really is just for entertainment. Um, our reality projections for the future are quite different than what games portray. Than, well, kind of what, uh, what movies portray as well. But still, I plan to have fun with Star Citizen. Sometimes I just love to speculate. It's actually kind of often, but whatever. Anyway, thank you very, very much for listening to this stuff. Hopefully it, it you know, opened your mind a bit. Well, maybe let you see the game in a different light. Maybe, maybe made you think uh, a little bit more on some of the aspects of the game. Because there are certain things which could be really interestingly done if they weren't just, you know, manned. I might get back to that later on with another little piece, but not anymore in this one. This has been dragging on long enough. Thank you very, very much for listening and watching.